All right, we are here for round one of the PTQ and I'm on the play. Um, this is a very, it's a very good hand if I can draw a land in my next two draw steps. This hand's very good against, it's pretty good against a degenerate deck with two discard spells. It's got to play for a turn one noble hierarch and a potential quick angler. I'm going to keep this hand though. I might, that might not work out well for the home team. Okay. Very watery grave. It'll probably be more of like just a slightly annoying stream because I'll probably be playing slower and talking less, which is the poor part no matter what. Okay, so we are playing against Mario Pyromancer. So I think this is a pretty straightforward dread bar. We got it. Then we're gonna Inquisition this Colorgon's command, or we're gonna hope we can just get our get Angler down. But Angler's Angler's the the way to do it this game. He's just gonna struggle. He's gonna struggle to deal with Angler a little more than normal. All right, then I'm gonna play tap, draw a card. Okay. All right, moment of truth. Nope. Yeah, I deserve that. <clears throat> Was the cost of keeping this hand, just know that I had two draw steps to find a land. Two draw steps for a 16 outer, the hand being very good otherwise. So there's the black leaf cliffs. <clears throat> this probably takes serum visions if I had to assume I would take serum visions I think my hand is stacked probably of a higher quality than my opponents and they just don't want me to hit land drops because I'm just sitting on, like, this is a two... Like, they, they can deal with my Angler because of these Lightning Bolts, but we get two cards out of it. So that's going to let us get Nasty down. So at least we have a play. We drew a stub. So I can Thought Seize and look to hold out one more turn before I play Angler because I have Stub back up which is a really good card for them not to know about. Or I can make them piss away their next turn. Uh, if I had another threat, I'd just run this angler out, but I think we're just gonna, I think we're gonna be adults. Triple bolt. What a beating. Okay. So we're at a virtual nine. But my opponent's not doing anything. Come on. Okay. So it's still okay. I think we make him so. If I go to 12, fetch black, red. Hold this up. I don't really want to fetch an island when I have a lightning bolt in my hand. That puts me to four, and that's all of their reach. And they're getting cracked by an angler. I have a stub for part of lingering souls. I can help clean up lingering souls. I think. I think I'm going to go to 12. And we're going to leave back probably. These are going. This is going. I don't want thought seize. I think I want serum visions in a 
Inquisition. If my opponent wants to start sending that upstairs, we have a Stubborn Denial. This is a dangerous fight on, your, on my turn to fight here. Okay. So just playing Black Leaf Glyphs. All right. I like that we're untapping. Okay. Bedlam Revel would be pretty backbreaking here at almost any point. I know three out of their four cards. All right, let the first one go. I think I'm going to stub another one of these because I'm just trading three for two and this is in, in some ways it's padding my life total so if I draw a death shadow I can just play it if he goes fetch reveler I'm going to puke I'm going to throw up if he goes fetch reveler Come on. <sighs> okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, little shadow boy, hold down the fort. I was just vomit inducing. <clears throat> Number four. Yep, buddy. It's all right. We have some good tools after sideboard to deal with this deck. Another one. Okay. Yeah, we're just like we're good. We're good here. We're gonna we're gonna scoop just to leave some sort of doubt. That was just unfortunate. Like, you know, they hit the first bedlam revler, which. You know, looting free the first Bedlam Reveler, and then that just turned into the second Bedlam Reveler. So we want these. I want these. These are like a maybe. These are good. And these are good. Cards I don't like. I don't like these. I don't like this card. I don't like this card. Six. I don't like counter spells a lot and grinding. I don't like counter spells against the looting deck. So there's seven, so I can go like this. I don't like fatal push either, so I think I like push. I don't even hate Liliana the Veil on the play because it can edict uh, Pyromancer. It's just another answer to whatever it is on an open board, and the Liliana is likely to be better because we're bringing in these answers to go wide strategies, and these. Let's see what this looks like.
Took out a couple delve cards because they're likely to bring it like a card like Spell Bomb. This is what we're going to do. I would like to play first. All right, sounds very good. <clears throat> this is going to be all, like, we're hopefully going to see this. We can protect the Liliana. We mulligan to six. We have a good way to harass their Bedlam Reveler, which is great. This is going to fetch me... This is our shittiest land, so we're going to fetch it first in case we have to go basics with these two, but this is going to get Watery Grave. Put a card on the bottom. Okay. So I can just take this Brutality, Inquisition, thought to use the Blood Moon, or play around the Blood Moon next turn, which is, I think I don't want to do. So we're going to take this. It's kind of mopey. If they top deck a discard spell, I can just play around the Blood Moon with how I fetch. There's the Marsh Flats. Okay. Go like this. Ooh, that's tough. So what if I take Liliana and then just fetch around Moon? That's why this is like me getting a little greedy with taking this brutality. <clears throat> yeah, I probably wasn't supposed to take the brutality just because of the top of their deck. This Liliana is going to be so annoying, though. I think I can play around this Blood Moon. Yeah, I, I fucked up here. Son of a bitch. I just got greedy, and I didn't play around this. This is what I got to take, and I think I just have to fetch around this thing. Which I can fetch around it and get Liliana down. So, like, that's not terrible. And then just hope that they miss. Yeah. As much as that sucks. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. I should have taken the moon because they could get greedy. I didn't want them to, like, get a super amount of value. Or I didn't want them to be able to, like, disrupt what I'm doing. Because, like, I do like discard spells. I like being able to thought seize their later threats. That's why I took the Brutality, but it leaves me a little naked here. Though if my opponent just takes their third turn off and plays Blood Moon, we're going to be pretty far ahead with this Liliana. But we do have to get this Liliana down before we can't cast it. We have the first Lingering Souls covered. Mm. 
Yeah, I just I I think I I overvalued how much the thought season was going to matter to me, and I undervalued what else could be in their deck that would be a higher priority take than the Blood Moon. So is this fetching Swamp going to moon me, or are you going to? Destroy target artifact. All right, well, we'll just get rid of this. And I'll discard my Serum Visions. It's not a bad play from our opponent. Discard Thoughts Coward, excuse me. It's not a bad draw either. So let's go Serum Visions. Okay, so actually I think we want to put both of these on top, but I want to put the Snapcaster underneath. They already get rid of their Marsh Flats. Yes. So I know two out of four. So pretty good Serum Visions. That was like a stack Serum Visions. So now I'm going to probably going to stub whatever gets played here. Doesn't matter if it's Moon or if it's Lingering Souls. Just we're playing Protect the Queen right now. They play the land. So I can go snap Inquisition. I can go snap Inquisition on the Blood Moon. Or I can go snap. Or I can just play Tassiger. I kind of want to play Tassiger. Yeah, I want to go Tassiger. Does it hurt me at all to not delve? I might as well delve one, only leave one card open just in case my opponent inquisitions me. I can just flash in my Snapcaster Mage. Is there any reason to not cast Snapcaster Mage? Snap hit Blood Moon is whatever. I can't stub Lingering Souls. This allows me to stub my opponent's next play, assuming they play Lingering Souls. My graveyard's going to be pretty stocked. I think I'm going to ditch this Thought Scour. I'm going to leave both discard spells just in case. Can I click this up? Yeah. Okay. I have another Snapcaster Mage coming. Okay, there's a land. So now my opponent can play and flash back. We can flash back Lingering Souls and play Moon. They cast another one here, that's rough. Okay. So am I flashing this in? This, this is going to resolve. Do I play my Snapcast at the end of the turn? Because I can't go Snap Serum. I can't go Snap Inquisition. I think I'm going to flash in my Snapcaster Mage at the end of the turn and start attacking with it. Because I only have one target left here. Yeah. Because, like, I've only, like, the only thing that I can do with these is Thought Seize and, and or Inquisition, and I'm not going to be able to do that for the rest of the game because they're going to be Hellbent. So... I'm going to attack with both of my creatures. So now I'm kind of fighting them on two different ways here. And then I'm just going to go snap Thought Seize so that if I draw Death Shadow, I can play it. It would have been nice to hit there, but, but at least now we've got them on a two-turn clock and they're top decking, and they can't cast Lingering Souls. Got him. I'm 
Okay. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. Phil boy. What are you thinking, Phil? You think, tell me, tell me what I should sideboard, Phil. Put the Nats hat on. Lean in business. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Do I want to change anything else? I want my last. Hold on. Do I want one more? I think I want one more answer. Do I want this to be a counterspell in the draw? I don't think so. I think I want. Well, how many answers? I have one, two, Three, four. I'm going to assume that I can activate this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six answers to whatever it is on turn one, on turn two, Pyromancer. So I think I think we're just going to keep this. Plus, the counter spells can't get in under Inquisition. So put denials back in. I can see what you're, what you're talking about. All right, we're going to keep this. Sounds good. Sounds very good. This is like actual fucking stones. This is good even through a discard spell. Because we have two answers to Young Pyromancer. We can harass Lingering Souls. we got a bomb, and then we've got a good value card. I would assume this hand they just take Liliana the Last Hope. And I think I'm going to lead off with Lava Mancer. Yeah, I'm going to lead off with Grim Lava Mancer. Because I would like to be able to get that going next turn to check a Young Pyromancer. So like, I can deal with Young Pyromancer a couple different ways here. Lava Man. I think I'm going to Serum Visions before I cast Thought Seas. Because I would like to know what I have coming. My opponent has a discard spell, Terminate Sure. We'll take that. It's a decent one. Okay, Thoughtseize, Snapcaster Mage, and so we want to hit land number three. I think we want both of these cards. We might just leave this Polluted Delta unfat, uncracked, but I do believe we want both of these cards. So I think this is a pretty easy Young Pyromancer, and then next turn we're going to hit this Bedlam Reveler. Because I would hate for them to draw like an Inquisition or a Lightning Bolt and then not be able to deal with this with a Liliana Edict. Though I could just take the Bedlam Reveler and get it with K Command. Fuck. I'd like to be able to hit this Pyromancer with K Command, but I think I want to save my K Command to get my Snapcaster Mage back. This is tough. So I've got Bedlam Reveler covered with Thought Seas. I just have an awkward turn next turn. So I think I'm going to take Young Pyromancer. Of these, we're going to take the Pyromancer. No, there's no sense to get greedy. I got greedy and it almost cost me game two. So I'm just not going to get greedy. I have another one covered to cover the Bedlam Reveler. And then I can play like Nihil Spellbomb if I'd like. I can also play Liliana and start going up with it, but I kind of want to keep all of my cards. And I want to keep my Snapcaster Mage, so that's the least appealing thing to me. So let's take this. Double Bedlam Reveler, okay. So now we just need a way to win the game. 
because I basically have my opponent covered here. So Bedlam Reveler costs six. Yes, Blood Moon off the top would be bad. Goblin Rabble Master. Okay. So you're going to get me for one here. And then I'm going to fetch a basic swamp next turn. And I think I'm just going to go K Command up here and just deal with this little guy later. Do I want my Snapcaster Mage? Yeah, I think I'm going to want Snapcaster Mage at some point. Though, I could just draw a card. What's my Snapcaster Mage doing? My Snapcaster Mage is flashing back Thoughtseize, but then like this Bedlam... This Bedlam... No. OBS is reconnecting. Can we get swamp? And then is that land that land does get them closer to casting a regular Bedlam Reveler? But I could get back from Lava Mancer. But I just don't have time to be Lava Manning. I think I'm just going to, like, discard a card, shoot this. I definitely don't want to take too much more damage. Because we don't have a Death Shadow. I would agree. Then we can Edict this Goblin next turn. And then have Liliana just in play. They ditch the Bedlam Reveler. Okay. I'm pretty down for just edicting this goblin, depending on what my opponent does, because I, I want this Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I think I'm just going to edict the goblin. Now I do wish I had another land, because I would not mind going like Snap Serum Visions. Because Snap Thought Seize puts me down to six. I'm not really excited about that. Okay, they have their own Liliana. Okay. So discard this Thought Scour. Fatal Bush, okay. So that can actually fetch me an island. I can go Snap Serum Visions and I can go, f so Fetch Island, Flash in Snapcaster Mage, take up Liliana, cast Serum Visions, then still have the Spell Bomb up. And then if they want to edict this, then this is okay.
And then if we want to keep a bad card on top of our deck, we can crack Spellbomb and discard the bad card to their Liliana. Radiant Flames. I think I want the Radiant Flames. So I'm actually just going to put this... Oh, now I'm going to... Oh, shit! God damn it. God damn it. Oh. I just missed sequences. I should have ticked my Liliana up in between. Fuck. All right, I think we're going to put this on the bottom, and I'm going to put this on top. And then I'm just going to tick up, and I'm going to ditch this Radiant Flames. I literally talked out my thing and just didn't do it. Yeah, I was just like, I wasn't even paying attention to the chat. Like, I was just dumb. Uh, okay, let me just edict this. Okay, because they can flash back Lingering Souls now, I'm just going to pop my Spell Bomb. They actually can cast a top deck Bedlam Reveler as well, so... Okay, so that's pretty good as well. Snap Thought Scour. Snap Thought Seize. Uh, I've Snap Thought Scour, then I have to ditch my Serum Visions. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay ditching the Serum Visions. And then end of turn going Snap Thought Scour. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do here. The scries might be good. I can just flash the Snapcaster Mage in against this. Oh, I don't want either of these. Now, if I want to go to four, I can go Snap Serum Visions again. I can go Snapcaster Tick Up Serum Visions. But then I'm at the mercy of this Liliana. I should have put a land on top so I could start Snap Colgon's commanding. Fuck. It's all over the place. <sighs> I could just leave my Liliana here as well. I need to figure out how to win the game. I think I'm just going to hold my Liliana. They go plus. I'm just going to flash in my Snapcaster Mage and fetch Shock and probably Thought Scour. Yeah, they hit a land. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we got a way to win. Bolt. Yeah, here we go, baby. Bolt that. We still need to fade Lingering Souls. And then I need to figure out what I want to delve. I want to delve all of my discard spells. So I don't want Thought Seize, Thought Seize, Lava Mancer's okay, Radiant Flames, Nile Spellbomb, it's fine. Nile Spellbomb's probably actually not fine. I want 
Lava Mancer is weaker than these other cards, I think. Actually, Lightning Bolt is weaker. Yeah, we're going to get rid of Lightning Bolt. I'm okay if he gives me back any of those. Oh, shoot. I worried about time, and I clicked out. God damn it. I need to, like, slow down. I'm getting a little nervous about time. Rattle Master is okay, because we had to block the token. Edict him. We would have... be much better if we could keep our Liliana around, but... A little worried about time, and I just didn't plus that. They probably boarded them out, Farby. Wow, we're just like running super hot here. All right, Edict. I think I can actually play Angler and hold up a Tasker activation. So what do I really want? Um, I think I, I'm really okay with him giving me any of these. I guess I can get rid of Liliana the Veil in case they, worst, worst case scenario, they top deck Lingering Souls. Any of these are okay? I could just delve, make it so, can I go... I have three minutes, so I have plenty of time. What happens if I just make it so that they can only give me back? Like, if I get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of the shadow, get rid of Liliana the Veil, Snapcaster Mage doesn't really do anything. I literally just make it so they can only give me back Radiant Flames and Liliana. Okay, that's what we're going to do. There we go, baby. Woo! All right. Sorry, I got excited. All right, back for round two in a little bit.